Hello friends, today we are going to learn about the topic virtualization technology VMware in which we are going to learn about its architecture advantages, disadvantages etc. <music> VMware technologies. What is VMware or virtualization technology? See, in full virtualization, primary hardware is replicated and made available to the guest operating system, which executes unaware of such abstraction and no requirements to modify. That means when we are talking about full virtualization, so we have an underlying hardware or physical resources, then a virtualization layer is there in between which gives the full virtualization view to the user or the guest operating system. Then the virtual machines with the help of this full virtualization, a particular user can execute anything into that virtual machine and the user is unaware of the abstraction which is present there or how that particular machine or the requirements is being given to the user. This is full virtualization. Technology of VMware is based on the key concept of full virtualization. Either in desktop environment with the help of type 2 hypervisor or in server environment through type 1 hypervisor, VMware implements full virtualization. In both the cases, full virtualization is possible through the direct execution for non-sensitive instructions and binary translations for sensitive instructions or hardware traps, thus enabling the virtualization of architecture like x86. Now here what it says is that full virtualization with two cases that is by using type 2 hypervisor or type 1 hypervisor. Type 2 hypervisor is used in desktop environment and type 1 hypervisor is used in server environment. So now using with those two or both of the techniques full virtualization is possible through the direct execution for non-sensitive instructions, non-sensitive instructions that means which will not get affected and binary translation for sensitive instructions or hardware traps thus enabling virtualization for the architecture of x86 CPU or processors. Full virtualization and binary translation. See, now VMware is widely used as it tends to virtualize x86 architectures which executes unmodified on top of their hypervisors. Zen provides para virtualization then for full virtualization it needs to get some hardware assisted virtualization and then only the full virtualization can be provided and that is too difficult on x86 architectures which is commonly used between the commodity servers so VMware here is widely used for x86 architecture. Then with the introduction of hardware assisted virtualization, full virtualization is possible to achieve by the support of hardware itself. By earlier, x86 guest operating systems unmodified in a virtualized environment could be executed only with the use of dynamic binary translation. See, now we have this hardware assisted virtualization, so full virtualization is possible of x86 architectures and then the programs can be executed on that. But before that, the x86 architectures, guest operating systems or I could say the earlier x86 guest operating systems if they are unmodified in a virtualized environment then they could only be executed by using binary translations. Since the set of sensitive instructions is not a subset of privileged instructions. See now here this 
सेंसिटिव इंफॉर्मेशन विच इज प्रेजेंट देयर इज नॉट द सबसेट ऑफ द प्रिविलेज इंस्ट्रक्शन दो प्रिविलेज इंस्ट्रक्शन हैज बिहेवियरल एंड कंट्रोल सेंसिटिव इंफॉर्मेशन और इंस्ट्रक्शन बट हियर इट इज नॉट नेसेसरी दैट ऑल द सेंसिटिव इंस्ट्रक्शन विल बी अ पार्ट ऑफ द प्रिविलेज इंस्ट्रक्शन एक्स एटी सिक्स आर्किटेक्चर डिजाइन इज नॉट सेटिस्फाइड द फर्स्ट थ्योरम ऑफ वर्चुअलाइजेशन due to this different behavior occurs while such instructions are not run in the ring 0 that means now here also we have four rings that is ring 0 ring 1 ring 2 and ring 3 so this due to this different behavior such instructions are now not in ring 0 or they will not be running in ring 0 which is normal in a virtualized environment where the guest operating system is running in or is executing in ring 1 basically a trap is created and the method in which it manages differentiation of the solution in which virtualization is applied for x86 in dynamic binary translation the trap encounters the translation of interrupts or offending instructions into a corresponding set of instructions that establishes the same target without making exceptions see in addition to expand performance the corresponding set of instruction is cached so the translation is not important any more for further encounters of the same instructions now there is a figure below we will see how it is demonstrated there but here what it wants to say is that the guest operating system if the it do not or behavioral sensitive instructions is not there in the privileged instruction then the virtualized guest operating system will be running in ring 1 and ring 0 will only have this privileged instructions now again they want to say that basically a trap is created here now so what that trap do here is that the method in which it manages the differentiation of the solution that means the proper method in which it is managed there in which virtualization will be applied to x86 architecture then again in dynamic binary translation as we have seen before the binary dynamic translation the trap encounters the translation of interrupts and offending instructions into the corresponding set of instruction now it is encountering what the interrupt instructions or interrupts which are there or offending instructions we could say and into a corresponding set of instruction which will establish the same target without making any exceptions then now if i want to expand the performance or to expand the performance in the machine the translation is not important anymore now we do not need this binary translation here instead the same instruction it can be used there see we have a diagram here for vmware this is ring 0 ring 1 2 and 3 as we have seen before this is for the privileged instruction for guest operating systems and so on now user application or unmodified abi it is directly interacting with the guest operating system here in vmware we have seen a different level in zen so guest operating system has unmodified databases and vmm that is virtual machine manager unaware then again we have this hypervisor now hypervisor includes binary translation instruction caching and here is the hardware trap as we have read there then it can be dynamic or cached translation and then it is interacting with the hardware x86 or i could say the x86 architecture the major benefit of this approach is that guests can run unmodified in a virtualized environment which is an important feature for operating system whose 
source code does not exist. Binary translation is portable for full virtualization as well as translation of instructions at runtime presents an additional overhead that is not existed in other methods like para virtualization or hardware assisted virtualization. Now see here what they are saying is as translation of instruction at runtime it presents an additional overhead additional overhead in binary translation which is not existed in other methods other methods like para virtualization and hardware assisted virtualization but here in binary translation for full virtualization it is there contradict binary translation is only implemented to a subset of the instruction set not the complete instruction set instead only to the subset of that instruction set while the others are managed through direct execution on the primary hardware this depletes somehow the impact on performance of binary translation advantages of binary translation we have this kind of virtualization delivers the best isolation and security for virtual machines. Now, by using binary translation, we have the best isolation and security for any of the virtual machine in virtualization. Truly isolated numerous guest operating system can execute concurrently on the same hardware. It is only implementation that needs no hardware assist or operating system assist, assistance we could say, to virtualize sensitive instruction as well as privileged instructions. See, these are the advantages of binary translation. That means there can be several guest operating systems running on the single hardware at the same time or simultaneously I could say. Then this in implementation it does not need any hardware assistance or operating system assistance for virtualization virtualization of sensitive instruction and privileged instructions then disadvantages of binary translation it is time consuming when done at runtime it acquires a large performance overhead it employs a code cache to stock the translated most used instructions to enhance the performance but it increases memory utilization along with the hardware cost. The performance of full virtualization on the x86 architecture is 80 to 95 percent that of the host machine. VMware products. VMware products include virtualization, networking and security management tools, software defined data center software and storage software. Now what is data center and cloud infrastructure in VMware? VMware vSphere is VMware suit for virtualization products. VMware vSphere known as VMware infrastructure prior to 2009 that means the name was changed in 2009 includes the following features which are first is ESXi then vCenter server vSphere client vMotion the most current version is vSphere 6.7 which is available in three editions that is standard enterprise plus and platinum there are also two to three server kits targeted towards small and medium sized businesses named vSphere essentials and essentials plus with VMware Cloud on AWS, customers can run a cluster of vSphere hosts with vSAN and NSX in an Amazon data center and run their workloads there while in meantime manage them with their well-known VMware tools and skills. Networking and security in VMware. 
फर्स्ट इज वी एम वेयर एन एस एक्स इज अ वर्चुअल नेटवर्किंग एंड सिक्योरिटी सॉफ्टवेयर ऑफरिंग क्रिएटेड वेन वी एम वेयर अक्वायर्ड नाइसियरा इन टू थाउजेंड ट्वेल्व नाउ एन एस एक्स अलाउज एन एडमिन टू वर्चुअलाइज नेटवर्क कॉम्पोनेंट्स इनेबलिंग देम टू डेवलप डिप्लॉय एंड कॉन्फिगर वर्चुअल नेटवर्क एंड स्विचेज थ्रू सॉफ्टवेयर रैदर देन दी हार्डवेयर अ सॉफ्टवेयर लेयर इट सिट्स ऑन टॉप ऑफ द हाइपरवाइजर टू अलाउ एंड एडमिनिस्ट्रेटर टू डिवाइड अ फिजिकल नेटवर्क इन टू मल्टीपल वर्चुअल नेटवर्क then again some of the other points of network and security is that with the latest release of the product nsx t data center network virtualization can be added to both esxi and kvm as hypervisors as well as to bare metal servers that is type 1 servers also containerized workloads in a kubernetes cluster can be virtualized and protected NSXT data center also offers network function virtualization with which functions such as firewall load balancer and VPN can be run in the virtualization software stack VMware we realize network insights is a network operations management tool that enables an admin to plan micro segmentation and check on the health of VMware NSX We realize network insights relies on technology from VMware's acquisition We realize network insights collects information from the NSX manager it also displays errors in its user interface which helps troubleshoot the NSX environment thank you